All right, so this is the brand new version. They had a previous version of this Power Max battery, and this is the newest release. The previous version could not operate uh, in series, so you were stuck having all of your batteries in parallel. But this version, you can have your batteries in series or in parallel and still operate the DC hub. And this is the real magic of this particular battery. So you got your solar in here. This is a built-in uh, charge controller that can handle a 100 uh, watt solar panel. I believe it's 85 watts max coming in here, which a 100, amp pan 100 watt panel is perfect for. You got your USB out, which is your QC port and your regular uh, USB-C. And then they've got USB-C in and out. So you can actually charge this battery from a USB-C cable as well. That is really cool. And then your auxiliary DC output, which in here is this little cigarette lighter plug. The uh, previous one had a hole right here where you just had this built in there. This one it adds a little more flexibility to not necessarily have to use a uh, cigarette lighter adapter, but any old Anderson power pole connector. So that's really cool. And this is an out only port, and this is an in only port uh, with the same Anderson power pole connector. And on the bottom, there's the power pole. This, this little flap is over here to start with. You just push that down in there, and then this connects right in here. It's got a nice little pull tab, so you can take it off whenever you need to. So it's important to note that this is a 10 amp maximum uh, port here, like a typical uh, cigarette lighter port. So, and I believe the whole thing is 12 amps. Okay, so here's the parameters of that. You've got uh, the output bottom port, 10 volt, 14 to 14.6 volts, 12 amp to charge the battery. A DC in is uh, 11 to 25 volts, 4.2 amp max, 84 watt. So the, that's the supported solar panel charging. Uh, the 12 volt out is 10 amp max, 120 watts. And the USB out is a 5 volts, 3 amps, 9 volts, 2 amps, 12 volt, 1.5 amp, with a max of 18 watts for the standard USB A. And the USB C is 5 volts, 3 amps, 9 volts, 2 amps, or 12 volts, 2.5 amps, for a max of 30 watts. And the USB C port for the input is 5 volts, 3 amps, 9 volts, 3 amps, 12 volts. 3 amps, 15 volts, 3 amps, 20 volts, 5 amps for a max of 100 watts. So you could have a 100 watt uh, DC input from your USB-C. All right, let's get this set up and run a first thing we're going to do is run a capacity test on this battery and see what kind of uh, amps hours we can get out of this. I'm going to set this at 103 amp hours, see how much we can get out of this 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate uh, power station, DC power station slash battery. Let's go ahead and get this hooked up. We're going to set this up to transfer the power from here to my big power station over here so we can conserve the energy rather than just waste it. So let's go ahead and get this capacity test started. Here we go.
All right, so we passed our capacity test. Uh, we got a total of 100.9, basically 101 amp hours out of this 100 amp hour uh, Doctor Prepare power station battery. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the features a little more closely here. All right, so one thing I wanted to talk about, as you can see I have here, this is my 12 volt coffee pot. Now, this coffee pot is a piece of junk. Uh, I purchased this without really looking closely at the specifications of it, and this requires 170 watts, which is more than a 10 amp a cigarette lighter adapter can handle in most vehicles and any power station. Even my really large power station over here cannot power this. So what I have is I have a, my own, uh, I have mine wired in here uh, with my own fuse and some heavier gauge wire to power this uh, uh, coffee pot. So I only bring that up because I want you to make sure if you're planning to use this battery to power something with the cigarette lighter adapter, make sure that item does not take more than 10 amps uh, and make the same mistake that I made. But, you know, I think that's a rare occasion. It is what it is and it's 10 amps. So one of the beauties of this power station is that you can charge this with a USB. So you don't need a separate charger per se. And, and what happens when you plug that in this light turns green and it shows that you're getting a charge. One of the other features that I really like is this meter up here. Turn that on and it shows you the, the state of charge. So each one of these bars would represent basically 25%. It would be nice if it had a digital uh, readout, but for the price, I think that's it's pretty cool that they even include that in there. The, uh, the price on this thing is pretty incredible. If you just need a DC power station for uh, camping, there's so many things that just require DC that I think this is a great choice. It's not much more than a, a regular lithium iron phosphate battery, but it comes with this hub where you can power all of your DC stuff, get your phones charged, and the ability to charge it up with this. This is a perfect camping battery. Now the other neat thing about this is they're stackable on top of each other, so you could go, you could stack too high on this um, and get up to four in series and four in parallel only with the new version. The old version, you could only stick to 12 volts. You could run four in parallel and that's it. The new one, uh, you can run in series and parallel. Right now, this is on a really good sale for $249. I'm not sure how long that sale is going to last. Uh, so if you were interested in this, I would go ahead and jump on that. I think it's kind of like a, a preview sale for their new version here, which uh, does offer some additional features. I do like that the... Uh, I don't use the cigarette lighter adapter stuff very often, and I have a lot more things that can uh, run off of Anderson PowerPole. So I like that they got rid of the, the port here and replaced it with an Anderson power pole. And then here, same thing, I have an adapter for mo most of my solar panels that can hook to an Anderson power pole from the other types of connectors. So the fact that you, can, you don't need an MPP charge controller and all the other things, if you just needed a basic battery for camping or in your vehicle uh, for road trips and things like that, I think this is a fantastic option. And, and now that they've fixed the problem of being able to run these in series and parallel, I think it's maybe worth the extra to, if you were building a, a bigger system, having multiple of these is pretty cool to be able to add more ports, even USB ports. Uh, one thing I don't like is this strap system with the two straps here. I feel like it's a little bit awkward to use. Uh, I wish it just had some handles or something on the side, but there is enough of a, an area here where you can grip and you don't really need to use these. And they can be removed uh, by taking this off and then pulling the strap out if you didn't want to use these the straps. I prefer a one, one strap. I'm not sure why they had this dual strap thing here, but you know, it is what it is. Um, I'm pretty happy with the Dr. Prepare brand. I think they're doing a great job. 
I do wish it got a little bit more than the 101 amp hours, but it passed the test and that's all I really truly care about is that you're getting what it says you're getting. So with that, I'm happy. I like the, uh, the little meter up here to give you some idea and the price is it just can't be beat. So if you're interested in this battery, I'll go ahead and leave links down here in the description where you can get uh, the best price on it. And I, I think I might have a coupon code. I'm not sure if I do, I'll make sure and drop it down there as well. If you wanna see some of my other battery review videos, I'll drop a link right here. Be sure to subscribe to the channel right down here. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video.